Hi YouTube, this is Bayou here. This is going to be a very short video. I know I had not done any for the longest. Summertime is hot. And my producer does not want to deal with the camera. Okay, um, this morning when I was waking up, I heard this business news about the Chase Manhattan Bank telling the customers they need to uh, diversify the holding and they were recommending uh, purchase of gold, uh, Bitcoin, and uh, foreign currency. So uh, I went and did my small research uh, from the uh, Fortune 500 trying to find out if, if anything else was out there <clears throat> in the U.S. news uh, making reference of uh, any problem, serious problems in, uh, in the economy. And uh, basically I find out that uh, <coughs> The number of companies, U.S. companies, that they are part of the uh, uh, 500 um, are not like as many as were last year. Let me tell you, for 2017, so you keep up with these number changes, it's amazing. In 2017, the USA have 133 companies in the top 500. Uh, index, I mean worldwide, not USA. This is not the local 500, this is worldwide 500. In 2017, China only had 109. And Japan had 57. Okay, remember, this is only the top 500. So you add those three numbers, come out to be at 280 zone, and the rest belongs to the rest of the country. Uh, in 2018, uh, the USA companies dropped from from 133 to 126. And the Chinese numbers, Chinese company numbers, went up from 109 in 2017 to 120 in 2018. Japan increased only by one company, from 51 to 52. Now, these are the numbers in 2019, as of July 2019. China, came out with 129 companies in the top 500 index. 129. USA dropped to 121, and Japan remained the same, 52. The point they are trying to make for some of you, they don't believe it, and everything is okay, and you eat like a, a Wheaties in the morning, the lies that come out of Washington. China went from 109 in 2017 to 129 as of July 2019. That's increased to 20 companies in Fortune 500 index. That's way too many, way too many. Now, this is also some information that I got because I said, well, if you got the uh, companies, how the banks are doing? So the banks, the first bank in the world, the richest bank in the world, the one with the most holding, liquid, not in the hole, not like the U.S. government, 23 billion plus in the red. No, this is company that are making money, and they have money, and they don't owe any money to nobody. Number one, the Industrial and Commerce Bank of China. That's the first one in the world. Number one, Chinese. Number two, the China Construction Bank of Corporation gets from where? China. Two. Number three, the Agricultural Bank of China. Guess what? Number three. Number four, the Bank of China. That's, that's the central bank of, of the, uh, the main bank of China. Four. So China uh, banks are in the top four places, the richest bank in the world. I bet you did not know that. Now, who's number five? No, it's not USA. It's HSBC Holding. Guess from where? United Kingdom. And if you remember a few years ago, HSBC was busted because they were laundering Mexican cartel money, and they do have a lot of cash. So that, that's just a price below. Number six, finally. Number six, says JP Morgan Corporation, USA. Number seven, the BNP Paribas, French. Now, this is interesting because BNP Paribas is the bank where all the 
Deutsche Bank customers are moving, especially those uh, investors, the millions and billions of dollars in uh, euros and dollars and, and Ram, uh, Rambi and, and any other money in the world are moving from uh, Deutsche Bank to uh, uh, Paribas Bank. And uh, some customers have said, but uh, I don't know if you heard the news, again, I don't know how much you listen to this prostitutes right here, but the Dutch Bank is just about dead, guys. And the German government, the German people, the Bundestag and the Bundesrat are not going to help, so they're going to die. And the sad part is the bank has been in business close to 180 years, so it's kaput, it's finished. Okay, so the uh, BNP Paribas is number seven, the French. Number eight, Mitsubishi National Bank, which is uh, Japanese. That's the only Japanese bank in the top ten. Number nine, guess what? The second USA bank, Bank of America. And the last one, number 10, Credit Agricole France. Uh, Credito Agricola in Spanish and English is uh, agri uh, Credit uh, what those It's a bank that deal with uh, agriculture, credit, agricultural credit, France. So you have four Chinese, two USA, two French, and um, two USA, two French, and uh, one Japanese. Guys, the U.S. economy is, 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 is going into pieces, okay? And I wish I'll find a report so I'll tell you the name of the person that wrote it, the name of the person that, uh, that is telling the Chase Manhattan customers to diversify from dollar, U.S. dollars, to basically switch over to uh, Bitcoins, gold, and any other foreign money. Now, if you live in the southern part of the USA, don't be afraid of the Mexican peso. We have a socialist president, and even though the uh, Secretary of uh, Hacienda, which is Secretary of uh, Finance, resigned because he was stupid guy from the right side, he was not in agreement with what the president was doing, so he was frustrated, he resigned, and then the, the peso dropped. But it went back up in the same day. It, it, when it dropped and it went back up, it went back up higher than it was dropped. So uh, AMLO, which is, as is known, Manuel Lopez Abrador, Andres Manuel Lopez Abrador has done a very good money. Oh, the uh, Ligar, the president of the IMF, when they are trying to sell the Mexican a, a, a loan, Mexican doesn't need a loan. Basically, he kicked it out of there. And, he talked trash about the uh, IMF, which, if you are Latin America, you know, they tend to prefer the Italian Mafia, <laughs> which is cheaper than the IMF loans. Believe me or not, that's, that's the way Latin America feels. Actually, the only two countries is Ecuador, and somebody else, I think Brazil just borrowed money. Everybody else is no stay away from the IMF. It's a ripoff. So uh, this is the time that you need to pay attention what, what's going around you financially because you have too many bits of information all over the place that is indicating that the lies that's coming from Washington that everything is okay is not it's not right it's not good because how can it be that it's so good that the first four banks are Chinese explain that to me slowly number two why is it that JP Morgan is telling the customer hey you got too much too many dollars let's move the dollars away and get some gold Bitcoin foreign money. It's unheard of, especially from the top bank of the USA, but they want the customers to be safe, they want the customer to keep the money, so the bank keeps strong in case of the economy, the USA economy go to pieces. So, um, for those who don't believe, I'm giving you some information, fact, what is taking place right now. So it's up to you to determine what you're going to do. You have silver, you are not rich, you cannot buy Bitcoin because it's too expensive, that's fine. But having your possession, something that you can trade by milk, pray, rice, or bean for the little ones. Uh, if you're in the Southwest, uh, Mexican pesos are A okay because we're not, we're not gonna go to pieces. Uh, if you're in the North, go get Canadian dollars, they're not gonna go to pieces. The only one to go to pieces is gonna be us here. Uh, remember the numbers that I gave you, 
companies. China now got the top uh, 120 companies in the top 500. China has the fourth top bank in the world. Uh, here's some number right here that I find out for uh, real quick. In 2018, the uh, uh, minority-owned immigrant minority-owned companies uh, has a, a overall outcome of 6.1 trillion dollars in the USA. Okay, I have to call my, my producers. Then. What I try to tell, uh, explain to you is, is this this fighting or this belief that immigrants are destroying the nation is not true, guys. You cannot have a 6.1 trillion dollars from company make a money making uh, uh, immigrant uh, uh, families making the money in the USA and then being a problem. You have a few bad apples, which is normal, but don't believe the whole thing. And finally, um, just do your research, do your own investigation and see if this information is true or not before you, you move money, before you buy something. If you have any money, extra rice, extra beans, extra macaroni and cheese for your little ones, just like that, I know. But be prepared, guys. Be prepared. Short and sweet. Uh, thank you for watching. Behave. And be aware of what's happening around us. Talk to you later.